Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Per usual, whenever we see a major title update go live, like for instance, the launch of a brand new season or the mid-season update, that title update includes a lot of bonus files that are added to the game, usually not even in regards to the content that's being added on that specific day. You know, there's extra content for future updates that slowly starts to make its way into the game files. And that content is then data mined and leaked out. And we get a lot of previews as to some upcoming updates, new content, all sorts of stuff like that. And it was no different with season three reloaded. And man, oh man, we've got some very, very interesting leaks regarding some future content changes and updates for Warzone, Modern Warfare 3, and beyond. Now, all this info today is stemming from Reality, Bob Network, and then COD Warfare Forum over on Twitter or X. The sourcing will be down in the description below if you want to check out their tweets for yourself. But I will say, at the end of the day, all of this stuff is just leaks and rumors until it is officially confirmed by Call of Duty themselves. If Activision or Infinity Ward, Raven, Treyarch, whoever, posts about anything, then yes, it's come to fruition. It's confirmed then. Until then, take all this with a grain of salt. It could be changed, scrapped, adjusted in any way, shape, or form. So just a little preface there. But we're starting first with some of the more interesting news that stemmed from these Season 3 Reloaded leaks, and it is in regards to, well, the beyond that I was alluding to there. And the beyond is Call of Duty 2024. Now, just recently, we got official word from Xbox that in early June, we're going to have a Call of Duty Direct event. And there was a lot of speculation about Black Ops Gulf War, maybe it being called Black Ops 5, Black Ops 6. We weren't too sure. Well, thanks to some new leaks here, we now have references in the files to surprisingly some kind of reveal event for Call of Duty 2024 that is set to take place in this half season meaning before the launch of season four. And if I bring up my calendar, that's set to happen at the very end of the month. The 29th, I think, is the most likely date for that to take place. So at some point in the next couple of weeks ahead of the official direct event and full on global reveal, there could potentially be some new kind of reveal event for COD 2024 within Warzone. Now, there's different files alluding to challenges and whatnot with this and there's also a blueprint that's set to be coming with this event that is a pistol blueprint that has six scratches or six tallies on it which a lot of people are assuming is sort of hinting at it being black ops 6 uh which would make sense this would be the sixth black ops even though there was no black ops 5 official title Technically, Black Ops Cold War was the fifth Black Ops. So this would be Black Ops 6, and that would be an appropriate name for it. And uh, yeah, was not expecting to have a potential reveal event. It might not be anything major. It could just simply be a name reveal or something happening before the Xbox showcase and direct event on uh, June 9th, I believe it is. In addition to that, Woods has also been referenced in the files as an upcoming operator, likely tethered to a pre-order bonus for COD 2024. So some very interesting info being revealed and leaked about our next COD title through these season three reloaded data mined files. We also got some new information on some weapon updates and various different uh, content pieces coming with this. Some surprising ones, I should say. So for instance, uh, you know, we've had a couple of returning weapons in the past. We've seen some advanced warfare guns return. We've seen some aftermarket parts, uh, you know, sort of bring back older weapons, like for instance, the Wardens, AKA the Model 1887s. And that nostalgia trip is continuing, it seems like, as soon as season four, as the STG-44 assault rifle from Vanguard, most recently, has been found in the files post season three reloaded. Usually, when the reloaded update reveals new weapons, it's for the upcoming season. There have been some instances of some weapons being pushed back and delayed, uh, but the STG-44 could be one of our new main weapons for season four here in just a couple of weeks' time. I'm not surprised that they're bringing back more weapons. Uh, I have to imagine we're over halfway into the year. Sledgehammer is partially looking towards the long-term future and starting work on their next project, which means you might see some recycled or remastered content here and there. But also, they know that players like their rifles, they like their SMGs, they like their snipers. So if they're going to, you know, have the best blueprints available, have the best battle pass sales possible, 
they're gonna probably make new DLC weapons based around that stuff. So the STG44 could be returning here very soon. We also have some updated intel on some other weapons that we've had leaked. The Spaz-12, for instance, also rumored to be a Season 4 weapon, is said to have an akimbo attachment available for it, which certainly, I'm sure, is going to go over just fine and absolutely will not be broken in any way, shape, or form and cause some kind of crazy one-shot shotgun meta to take place for about 16 hours before it's very quickly nerfed. So... Be on the lookout for that one. I'm sure that's going to be pretty interesting. Also, the Car 98 k another leaked weapon for Season 4, is said to have a bayonet attachment coming with it as well, which will be kind of interesting. You can snipe with it, but then you can also get a little stabby stab going on up in the close range as well, adding in some versatility for it. Uh, by the way, as we are going through all the leaks and all the rumors here today, if you are new to the channel every single day, I got you guys covered with the need to know info for Call of Duty, whether it's multiplayer, Warzone, upcoming titles, it's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. And if you enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It's always really appreciated. Couple of other weapon related leaks here. A couple of new aftermarket parts have shown up in the files as well. We don't have the exact details as to what these aftermarket parts could be quite yet, but we have learned there should be some upcoming amps for the FJX Horus SMG, the Basilisk, and then also the Kastov 762. So a couple of MW2 weapons getting even more love with some aftermarket parts. They're very cool to see that they're actually implementing those on older weapons, because without that, I mean, most of the MW2 weapons would be completely irrelevant. A lot of them already are, but at least now we've started to see some aftermarket parts debut for them that shines some light on them uh, here and there. And then lastly, when it comes to the weapon related leaks, we do have a new melee that has popped up in the files, and that is a spear. Nothing all that crazy, but if you maybe want some efficiency when fishing, going after that fish AI, you know, uh, maybe that could help out a little bit there. Now, moving on from the weapon talk, we also saw a couple of other additional leaks surface. A few crossovers and references to some new events with said crossovers have been found, three in specific. One of them is a Gundam sort of crossover event that'll have different rewards, blueprints, camos, I would imagine, full-on event in-game for that. Uh, the Crow, which is an upcoming movie with one of the Skarsgård brothers, I believe there will be some kind of crossover with that and also Fallout obviously been uh, sort of hyped up recently because of the show and everything a lot of resurgence there pun intended with the uh, with the brand and with the franchise a Fallout crossover appears to be on its way as well which could be pretty fun I'm sure we'll get some cool skins some cool blueprints uh, coming over with that. And then lastly, just a couple of different operator names. We know every single season upcoming is going to have plenty of operators debut. As of right now, all we have are the code names, which means that they're, for the most part, pretty ambiguous. They don't really give us all that many clues. Woods is one of them, as we referenced earlier with the COD 2024 event. There is a uh, Koenig one, which we could see like a sort of revamped theme for him for MW3, maybe. And then there's also the code names of Sage, Void, and then Time as well. So doesn't really mean much without much context, but there are some new operators. Those will likely be some of the season four ones and potentially in the upcoming weeks, we could get some more details about those if we see some more leaks surface. And if that's the case, if we get any new details, any new info, you guys know I'm gonna have you covered with that right as it happens. So stay tuned for that alongside everything else going on in COD by hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on your way out. But that said, that's gonna wrap things up for this one. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.